All right, remember this buy that we made? Yeah, I'd like to start using it. I got a plate for it and the title and all that. But when we pulled it home, we had nothing. We had no lights, we had no brakes. It'd be kind of neat to have a trailer where the brakes worked on, you know? I think I'd be the first one in my family to ever have that, where it successfully worked every time. So that's what we're gonna get started on, at least lights to start with. And we're gonna do that right after this. Welcome back. If you haven't seen my videos before, I'm Ross the Oliver Man. This here is the trailer that I bought, kind of spur of the moment on the old auction time auction. But it's got like four brand new tires. And yeah, I mean, the floor ain't nothing to brag about, but it'll last a while. But four brand new tires and a trailer this size, ramps underneath there. That's kind of nice. And I gave less for this than I gave for the set of tires that's on the old white pickup. So I can't hardly complain about that. However, our lighting situation is a negative. So I went to the old Hobo Freight store and we're gonna give these a try. They're LEDs. But we're gonna have to extricate down to the wiring. And I figured we'll probably end up just using this and flipping her up again like we did the other one to see what kind of situation we got. Because I'm saying we're going to be running all new wires, is what I'm thinking. And <clears throat> I don't have a junction box or any of that, but for today it sure would be nice to check it out and see what we got. And then maybe we can make this happen. So for starters, maybe we ought just... Yeah, that's what I figured. It'd be a rusty mess. And I'm wondering if this is even going to hold a new light. It seems to me that that rubber is pretty well, what I'm trying to say is the metal where the rubber was, or the rubber needs to hold on to, pretty well gone. Now that could be that the guy who built this worked with a Friday afternoon mindset all the time where he didn't really care when he cut that hole, how she turned out. You know, cause it kind of looks like maybe they cut it with a torch. So, I don't know. We may be doing away with this style light and I may get like what I got on the other trailer. But I thought it'd be nice to, you know, try this once. So I didn't have to fool with, you know, constantly working on lights. So far, we're not doing too well on this one. As in this, it may be coming out of there. Come on, you. Hold it, Knut. Let's get out of there. This may be the kind of deal where I actually got to get some tools, you know? I had high hopes that I could just do it with a hand job, but it didn't look like it. Luckily, the tools are right over there in the service escape. It's really not too pleasant working out here as it's kind of cold, but the weather forecast, I don't think it's going to get much better. So we might as well just go for it. Sure. So while those have wiring in there, like I said, I think we're going to just go ahead and switch gears here. Let's have a peek at, do those actually have plugs like the, they might. But anyway, let's flip her up in the air and take a gander at what lies underneath. Because I'm not crawling under there. Why should I when I got this whole rig like this? Let's hook up the certified lift. Sure. What's gonna happen? Well, I don't really know. I know we did the last one and it worked. It's probably gonna roll forward. Okay, I see a problem already. 
Let's actually get on the tractor. Okay, I can see right now that we are due for a whole pile of sadness. We got scotch lock connectors, we got corrosion, and when I tipped it up, we had a tube that was just full of water. So I'm wondering if a guy shouldn't go along here and drill a, a hole just in a couple places so that water has a chance to get out of there. But look at that mess. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I see eight scotch lock connectors on just that section there. We got two up there. There's four over there. And then three here, three there. Here a junk, there a junk, everywhere junk, junk. Yeah. So this is going to be a total gut and re- redo because i can't i can't have that i mean that's that's ridiculous people scotch lock connectors no forget it i like that it has it's got eyes welded to it along there on that side to make the the whole affair happen there how are these brakes hooked up or aren't they are they hooked through oh okay so there's wires through the tube that might actually be the factory connections there. I wonder if they're any good. Hollow axle tube. We'll have those bowed in the middle before we're done with this trailer. Jeez. And it should have on both axles. It does. At least they're not solid in there. Well, friends. Now that I got mud all over me, that's great. I thought we were gonna have us something fairly easily, but that ain't rightly gonna happen here. I mean, yeah, it's not even not even worth messing with. We're just gonna cut it all off and start over because this ain't happening. I mean, we need we we need some of that seven strand trailer wire at least from the front of the trailer till here to get to the brakes. And then what we need to do is we can go with regular old trailer light wire to the rest of the back, to those lights. Jeez. Yeah, it's got to be a lot more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. And what I think I might, well, no, that doesn't really make sense there, does it? I think what I need to do is I need to have a junction box up there and one about back here somewhere. And that way up there I can split off and go to the two clearance lights up front. And then back here I can go to the axles. And so we're gonna have to do our homework here. We don't have enough stuff on hand. I thought we did, but this gets us started, but man. No wonder that the lights didn't work. I mean, yeah. All right, so is this safe? Probably, kinda. So we're just gonna gently hack. Look at that ground connection. That's the way to get a sure good ground every time. You just wire it around a loop. Good grief, people. So that's fine. What we'll do is we will, uh, I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe we'll leave those alone for now and we'll just splice onto those brake wires and hope that it's going to do it for us. And also what this tells me is I think I want to flip it from the other way so that the part that I want to work on is up in the air instead of on the ground and I got to crawl all the way under it. You know, 
I would say I applaud E for effort, but I don't think that any effort was put into this. So, yeah, we're going to move the tractor to the other side and flip her from the other way. Silly me thinking I'd get this project done today. Nope. Yeah, these things, you might as well just throw these in the trash. These scotch locks. They're garbage. And another ground wire. Wonder if that was factory. Here's our array of sadness there. Now I'm no trailer brake expert, but I don't think both of them are supposed to be wired together, are they? Or did the guy wire? I don't know. That's nuts. Whatever it was, they got smashed. So. Let's just. We're going to delete on that. Goodness. Somebody's already destroyed the fenders once, I guess, and put new ones on. Either that or somebody built this trailer. And uh, this is what we got. But wouldn't it be cool to be able to use some of this again? But I just don't, I don't think I trust it. I mean, it's just so cobbled up. We'll table that motion. Another ground where we just wired to that loop. Fantastic. All right. All right. Now, I would consider using the end from here out to the truck if I can get a junction box mounted up under here somewhere and then if we do that yeah then I'm not I don't know I don't know what I'm trying to say maybe I'll just get all new so that I know it's new instead of fooling with this garbage because that's what this is. This is garbage. I mean, top line trailer. So there you have it. I like the construction of it. Like I said, I like the, the tongue extending all the way to right in front of the axle. So you're getting pulling off of more surfaces than just like a lot of your trailers. It's like right here and maybe back to the next one. And then that's it. But this you're getting a more positive pulling surface that way. I'm not saying that their welds were the greatest, but far be it from me to badmouth them. They know what they're doing building trailers, and I don't. But it definitely needs a wire job bad. Because this kind of stuff here, that ain't going to work. And you see how they cut their holes? 
Just looks like they took a torch and started in. Very professional, very, very nice. So, sure. Well, I guess we're gonna go to the old NAFA store and the hardware store probably and get us some supplies and maybe try to make this a little bit more better because this ain't very much more better like it is. You know, we'll get us some conduit or something again maybe. Maybe we don't need it with that heavy cable, but I'll figure something out is what I'm saying. And then we'll bring you back. All right. So I went ahead and ordered all fancy stuff to put this back together. Even like trailer junction boxes that are going to be nice and give me places with screw terminals to hook up stuff. And I thought we're really going to have something nice and there's no hurry. And then I saw something on Facebook that I couldn't resist. So now I got to hurry up and try to wire up lights to make this work so I can use it. However, it's not as great as it seems because <laughs> I thought this trailer will save me a lot of hassle with width and stuff like that problems. And it turns out the thing that I'm trying to get is 85 inches wide and this trailer is only 80 between the fenders. So anyway, it's almost enough to make me say forget it, but I'm willing to try it. I mean, I'm going to take stuff along and we're going to try to narrow it up, but I just don't look forward to that at all. I would rather just show up and magically make this happen. I also don't like having to do something twice, which is what I'm going to end up doing here because I was going to do it a lot nicer and I don't know that I can, you know, make this happen today. So what to do, friends? Well, I bought some roll. I bought uh, I bought another roll of wire, but I found this in the back of the escape, so that might be enough to get me where I need to go. And then I can always use, I didn't think about that earlier, although we have no idea that it actually is working. I was just going to wire a plug on the end of that, but I guess I could wire it to whatever's left of this pigtail. I'll probably just wire in my plug that I had, uh, because then we know it'll be nice, you know? If I was really smart about this, I could probably also eliminate some doing over if I, you know, plan for the future here, but I don't know if that's gonna be possible. I first wanna see if this is gonna slide through that existing hole. It will. I'm not a fan of that, but it'll work. So what I was going to do is clean these all up nice and all that, but I don't think I'm going to have time for that. So the best we can do is just feed the wire in. I'm not going to lift it up today for this. I think I can tough out being on the ground for this little bit of it, maybe if I can fit under there enough. I was going to drill some drain holes in this too, which I can always do that and get it where it's, you know what I'm saying, a little bit, a little bit nicer where it won't rust again. All right, let's just embrace the sadness, friends, let's embrace the sadness. I guess I wouldn't even have to put this light in here yet if I... Okay, well, what I was getting at, and I guess I just might as well tell you now, I also ordered some white lights I thought would be neat as backup lights so that when you were backing the trailer in the dark, you could see. So, and I just was going to mount them under this light which the if the tail of the trailer hits the ground i think this light will still survive it's a little bitty thing but i just can't walk away from this mess and not do something about it so i'm gonna get a wire wheel a wire brush something and we're gonna clean this up and do something because I just can't I can't let it sit like this 
So let's start with that first. And then I think we can continue on our way. Even if I paint it, we won't put the light in. We'll just let it hang out here. And we can still work and get stuff done while that's drying. So let me go grab the necessary stuff for that. All right. It's looking more and more like this project isn't going to happen because it just, everything's fighting. That's pretty good. Of course, if I was excellent, I would have brought the little DeWalt vacuum. Suck that out of there. Eh, what's a little rust, you know? A little grit never hurt nobody. Then, what we're gonna do is promptly, we're going to drop everything. No. Okay, that's broke. Silly me assuming that I had a drill bit that might actually work. See, I was thinking a couple little holes along there, underneath. Boy, that's a lot of work. Come on. What do we do, make it out of hardened steel? That's nuts. softer. I must have hit a really tough spot over there. Just a little bit of something there to make it, you know what I'm saying. Give it some chance for water to get out that gets in. Sure, let's just paint all around it there. Let's give the other side the same treatment. Oh my, I didn't pull the plug out of this one, huh? Why did I not do that thing? There we go. Let's drill a couple holes. to just hit the wrong place and <laughs> got a part that was super hard for some reason. Must have got hot welding or something. Mm -hmm. This side didn't get as rusty, but check out this. I mean, a trailer company that is a very crappy job of cutting a hole. I don't, I'm sorry, but. All right, so that needs to dry before we can put lights in. We could technically run the wire from the front to the back. You know, that wouldn't hurt nobody. And maybe I can do that without, uh, you know, tipping her up in the air. I really don't have to. It just, it makes it where you don't have to be on the ground. But my life is on the ground, so I might as well just embrace it now, you know? The bad thing about this is even after doing this, I'm still going to be working my Knutson off to get that stupid thing on the trailer because, yeah, I mean, it just doesn't have any you know what I'm saying? All right. Okay. Well, what we're doing here 
is we're trying to feed the wire up through all these loops. I don't know if you can see the loop from there, but they didn't put any on the back few, but that's fine. I was able to fit it between the boards since this is a temporary setup and I was able to keep it up off of the anything, axle or what have you. I can't see what we're doing, but hopefully you can get some view. I just know it must be happening because I'm getting wire. And this, friends, is why we flip the trailer up in the air because this is a problem. I'm actually very close to just telling the guy, forget it, I don't really want to do this. Because I, I just don't care. I mean, this is... This is kind of foolish to me to be putting this together for one-time use. And then go back later and do it all over again. I just don't know. There's so many unknowns. We haven't tested out this trailer. You know, we, we're going to have to work super hard to get all this put on the trailer. I just... I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it. I should have used... I think I have one of those cheapo Harbor Freight wiring kits, and I should have used that. That would have... That would have been perfect for this. This wiring will still be good. We can recycle it for another project. Yeah, so we're going to change all this. None of this is going to be the same when I'm done with this thing. All right, we're going to do the rest of the wiring delete that we didn't do the other day. We should have. We'll figure it all out later. Oh, okay, I see. So those are not going to be in use right now, but that's fine. What I'll do, i got to make it look like it's in use. But nobody complains when they stop us on the, on the road. Okay, now, unfortunately, for some stupid reason, whoever designed trailers and wiring, they went to school on different days. So if you have a four or a five plug, the colors mean one thing. When you get up to this RV7 plug, like all the trucks, including the Super Cheap Super Duty, have now, the colors are totally different. They don't mean the same thing. So I have to make sure that I wire them in such a way that it's actually going to happen. And they give you this little diagram on the plug box, so that's good because, I don't know, see the wires are even labeled, but they're labeled for the small plug way, which is the way that I am used to, you know. I'm not used to this ginormous watching me, so sure. I mean, hopefully we can make this go one day, like, because the other stuff will be here, and it's going to make it so much nicer, but. All right, so if I look at the picture, now if we follow our line of thought, left turn, yellow. Okay, what's that? Ground? Ground is the next one, so that needs to go there. I promise it's going to be nice when we're done. This is just a rig for now. But we'll get there. Okay, well, right turn. We skip one and then right turn. 
Now we skip one and then right turn. I said that. Skip one and then right turn. Come on. This is the struggle bus. If you believe it, you can achieve it. Or some stupid advice like that. <clears throat> All right. Okay, we're gonna plug that in and forget it's hooked up and rip it off, so sure. But I think we're good on this end. That pretty well took all the wire. Get that other wad of it over here. <laughs> or not. We really should, we really should feed them both into this box if they will fit. I don't know that they will, but if we possibly could, it would be better to make our junction in the box than it would be out I'm gonna go feed that other one in there just so I know where I gotta be. Okay, well, we're this far. So what we need to do, cause I don't know how my final apparatus is gonna be. So I wanna save some wire here, see? That's why I left her plenty long. So we're gonna have to do some thinking about this. And if I had been really thinking, I don't want to pay attention to which strand was what, but it doesn't matter. Basically, we got to go two to one on some of these. Because some of them, this light is going to hook to, but then it also needs to go the other side. And then at least one of them is only going to go to this one side. Does that make sense? I don't care. <laughs> it does to me. I'll show you what I mean in a second. So for example, ground, we're gonna have that on both sides. So we gotta have these together because the light has a ground and we need ground on the other side. The same way with the brown one, which is our marker lights. We need those on one side and the other. That's what I'm trying to say. And then, see, this is left turn. So really, I don't need any, I don't need to send the left turn to the other side. But I do need to send the... Does that make sense? So these two green ones are gonna get connected together, but the left turn one, I only need the wire from, I only need the wire from the front because that's the one that's sending it to where, you know what I'm saying. So this yellow wire needs used. And these two green wires need spliced together. I hope that makes sense. So, our typical light plug here has three wires, which don't match any of the colors, but that's fine. Because we didn't want their colors anyway. I'm going to do is struggle for no apparent reason. So, if we look at our handy <laughs> handy guide on this light, it tells us that black 
is our brown and it tells us that red is our color so either yellow or green and then of course white is ground so they sent you with an eye terminal which we're not going to use because we're actually running ground from front to back But I should be able to do this. And I'm going to tape it a little just because. A little tape never hurt nobody. But the biggest thing is in this scenario, maybe it won't pull apart. That's what I'm really after from vibration or what have you. You know, just an extra precaution. This wiring isn't going to be in this trailer that long. Because when that other setup gets here, we're going to hit it hard. And make sure that it is working. Because I want this trailer to be ready to go in a moment's notice. Not be working on it like I am today to try to get something done. Alright. What did I say? Black is the new brown. Black is our tail light wire. It's going to go in there. This is going to go on here. And then left turn is yellow. And that's going to go to the red one. feed them together and then I give it a little taping then we're not done yet remember because we got to send our power over to the other side so we got to wire these two green ones together so that we got something when we're done. And I think we're going to accomplish this whole feat with the extra pieces that were laying in the cup holder of the escape from our last project. When we wired on the other trailer and I grabbed a handful of them. The rest of them have been riding around in there just waiting just waiting their turn now when we get the other set up when we want to do backup lights my my plan is i bought three junction boxes and we're going to have one under here somewhere on the inside of this frame rail i hope it will fit you know i could tastefully bolt it in or something probably above the ramps that would be out of the way and then i can just run my wires short over here i can use the existing wire we ran for that and there will be extra pieces because you're only going to use for each light basically one wire you have the color the marker the ground and then you'll have an extra wire so i can use that for the uh backup light on that side and then it'll work i promise you Let's stuff all this in here. Nothing like a sunny afternoon and stuffing a box. It's a good time. However, I don't think that the person who cut the holes on this did us any favors. Because I'm afraid that they're, this is not going to hold. Because they didn't do a good job. Yep, see how that works? Then you punch your light all the way through. Isn't that nuts? We gotta go just far enough, but not too much. Well, this ain't at all what I want. I'm not a fan of these uh, lights with rubber rings. I really am not. I hate them, to be honest with you. But that's what this trailer had on it, so. I thought it'd be easier to follow suit the first time, and then when I rip these off, I'll redo it. Let's go to the other side.
This one should be fairly straightforward because we only have to do three wires. We need the ground, the brown one, and the green one. And we need to not forget to put our license plate on the thing either. That's kind of important. Oh, see, I was going to set myself up here for success, and I don't think I did that, did I? So, how do I want to do that? Well, I already said I don't need this yellow one, so that can go bye-bye. But what I do need is, I need another way to get white connected. So what I think I'll do, since I know I'm going to need the ground for the backup light, This side's different than the other side. See, this side can stay the same in our new setup without changing. So, at least that's what I got worked out in my brain. So I'm trying not to reinvent the wheel. I'm trying to keep it simple, stupid, because I'm stupid and simple, that's for sure. So what I think I'm gonna do, like I was just saying before I switch my brain I think on this side I'm gonna wire the two grounds in the same hole and then I'll leave the butt connector open to splice in the light later on we'll wrap it up with tape so that it's sealed but er, seal that'll fix my problem and the other side's going to get totally rewired into a junction box, so it won't matter. I'll tape up this end just, just to say I did. We said brown is the new black. So that's got to go. That one there. On there and then green and red like Christmas time I feel like I've wired up a lot of trailers in my lifetime I don't know I seem to get those jobs when people want them rewired and they can't figure out how to do it and I can just barely figure out how to do it but whatever now if we tuck all this in there Boy, they didn't cut this one right at all. They cut this one way too wrong. It's not even going to stay in there. Well, that's really a bunch of baloney, isn't it now, pals? So, for this side, it looks like we're not going to be able to accomplish this. Because someone has already... cut this hole too big so now we gotta do this just so we can use it this is ridiculous I mean that makes me so mad the other light was in here I don't understand why why we're having issues Nothing like a redneck repair to get your trailer back on the road. Not what I wanted to do, but I don't have a lot of choice if I want to do this tomorrow. Well, we'll probably be redoing some anyway, but let's test it out. You're at 0%, so it's going to die any second. That's about par for the course. All right, let's see if we got anything. There's lights tail lights on the truck do we have tail lights on the trailer I believe we do they're very dim but they are on let's try left turn oh yeah let's try right turn uh-huh flash is good despite our stupid tape we have to have 
So that should do all the functions. If your turn signals work, your brake lights will work because they're the same thing, same circuit. But I turned the hazards on just to see, and they do flash too. So we should be good on that regard. If it just wasn't for stupidity, it's just ridiculous that we always have a struggle. But what are you going to do? Well, I think we're going to call this a video. This is a very long amount of footage I've got between the first part I did the other day and then this, but it is where I can use it now. So we'll see what happens. That's where we'll leave this one. As always, if you enjoy my videos, give them a thumbs up. That helps out the channel and it doesn't cost you anything. Leave a comment. Tell me that you liked it or tell me that you hated it. Tell me I'm a moron. I really don't care, but anything that you say helps us out too. So thank you again, as always, for watching, and I will see you in the next one.